How's it going? I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. Today we're going to take you all through how to set up a FANUC robot option. We're gonna go ahead and start off by jumping into RoboGuide real quick. And the reason why we're gonna jump in RoboGuide is because when I did this recording, I actually skipped the first step. If you do not have a newer robot, then you'll have to do this uh, another way, which I'll show you here in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into RoboGuide real quick. What you're gonna do with your robot on is you're gonna go right here to your function button and you're gonna go over to the next screen, but you can also use your numerical keys down here. And we're gonna do an eight power cycle. Uh, like I said, the older robots do not have this option, but what you do is you go over here to options and you hit enter and it gives you, a gives you the ability to do a controlled start. You go over here, you hit enter, and now you can see the robot will go ahead and go into a controlled start. Boom, and here we are. All right, so we're gonna jump over here to the actual teach pendant. So if you have an older style robot, you won't be able to do that first option. And what you'll have to do is you will have to cycle the uh, robot controller's power. Uh, so just turn it off and then turn it back on. Whenever it starts booting back up again, you'll hold that previous and next keys and you will get, it'll bring you into a menu screen where you'll be able to then do a controlled start. For us, since we had this option, it's gonna already boot into a controlled start. And what we can do from here is hit our menu button. We're gonna go software install. And then we're gonna go options and robot library right there. So it's number two on that list. Then here we have to select the media that we wanna utilize. And so we're gonna use UD1, which is on the controller. This media, it comes from Fanuc. So if you don't have the original media that shipped with the robot or, or your USB or whatever, if you don't have that that came with the robot, then you'll have to order that from Fanuc to be able to load any option onto the robot. So make sure you hold on to yours if you, if you have one. Uh, generally, we store ours in the robot controller or we'll hand it off to somebody who's in, uh, you know, engineering manager or whoever may want it. So... One thing you could do is you can go ahead and enter your pack code right here. You actually do not have to search through this list like we're doing here. You can just enter whatever your pack code is that comes from the sheet that Fanuc gives you. And like I said, you just don't have to go through this list. I like going through the list just so I can see it. So I get to remote eye pendant. So you're gonna go ahead and do, you're gonna hit your authorize button and then install. And it'll pop up on the top of the screen and say, software installed or whatever it says. It says something like option installed. Yeah, so it says it right there at the top of this screen here. So installed robot eye pendant option. So now we're gonna do a uh, cold start. So I just hit the function button and then selected cold start on that. And essentially all I was gonna do is cycle power on the robot. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually just do this by switching the uh, robot teach pendant as well. So guys, hopefully this was useful for you. Hopefully it kind of guided you through uh, how to be able to install an option. And there, there's actually one other thing that I want to show you before we go real quick. All right, so I actually was not able to find the document that I was looking for. The document I was looking for was the pack code uh, information that Fanuc sends you after you request a pack code. One thing that I did find that was super, super useful is if you want to purchase an option, one of the first things you'll have to do is submit this information to Fanuc. So Fanuc will send you this, uh, the request for product authorization code, pack code. And they're going to want, you know, the F number, the controller ID, software revision. Now, a lot of this stuff, you can get it from your, uh, it actually, it just tells you to navigate it right here. I'll put this document down below so that way you can just pull this information but you'll need to go through and, and, and get this information that they're requesting and submit it to uh, submit it to Fanuc. Also down here at the bottom there's also a description that calls out how to uh, install the pack code. So guys hopefully this was useful. Hopefully it helped you get your options installed on your robots because uh, sometimes it can be like one of those things where you're in the dark about especially when it's a process that you don't really do too often. If you're unless you're like installing options or um, setting up a robot for the first time. A lot of people never even get into these menuing systems or even know that they're there. So 
hopefully this was useful and we'll catch you on the next one. If there's any content you'd like for us to produce, whether it's FANUC or anything industrial automation related, just put it down in the comments below, reach out. Uh, my contact information is down below as well. If you have any systems that you'd like for us to look at to potentially help with uh, the system integration on that, feel free to do so. And I look forward to catching you on the next one.